My name is David Alexander. I'm with Alexander Open Systems Portal Practice, and today we're going to talk about SharePoint 2010. Uh, the topic at hand is uh, an effective home page uh, utilizing SharePoint. And, uh, and as you can see, we've got a demo environment up here, so we'll just dive into this. Uh, it is a little bit branded. We do have uh, you know, our logo. We, and we, we have uh, created some branding here as well as the side nav. All the functionality um, is the same as a, a typical SharePoint site. We've just provided a, you know, a little bit of branding around that. An effective home page. So let's talk about that a little bit. So when we say an effective home page, we're talking about how do you drive attendance to SharePoint? How do you make this a useful and meaningful part of a user's day? And there's a lot of ways of doing that, you know, having your workflow, uh, business intelligence, your enterprise content management. These are all important things and, and buzzwords that are that are around SharePoint. But the first thing that they're going to hit is they're going to hit this home page. So let's just talk about how we can maximize um, on this home page what the user experience is. And so first, you know, we've made it nice and warm with this branding. It looks like a website. Uh, it's not out of the box and, and we've created a, an environment that is, that, that is nice to, to, to look at. So a user won't mind having this pop up whenever they log in the beginning of their day. So what are we going to present on this page? Well, first, let's present out the corporate calendar. Uh, this is very important. We want all of our uh, individuals in the organization to know what's going on. Uh, you know, is there a picnic? Are we having an event? Um, you know, is there a award ceremony? All these things. Let's put this up here. This is polling from HR and from marketing. Uh, this can pull from any department you want, but for this demo, that is what we're, we're using as an example. And then we have... Uh, my management calendar because I am in this in this uh, example a finance manager I have access to the management calendar as you can see that these calendars uh, have different views there are many views that you can use within SharePoint um, all out of the box and uh, and this shows you just two different views on how you can present a calendar uh, underneath that I do have the AOS demo admin links because uh, this is a demo account uh, I do have that and I do not have that on all of the accounts as we'll see uh, soon just so you can see as web parts disappear uh, new ones can appear and then as we go to the center column really you know the meet what we're trying to present out at, at the organization we're trying to communicate to our end users so we've got the uh, leadership message and newsletter uh, within our organization uh, Gary Alexander does send a monthly uh, newsletter uh, to all employees and uh, and now we do utilize SharePoint that's how we post that up so uh, he'll let us know what's going on within our organization where we're moving. Um, in this example, we're acquiring a data center, which is a, a reality for our organization. So it's a great example. Underneath that, we do have uh, corporate announcements. So this is again pulling from HR and uh, and marketing announcements and pulling that forward. You can choose whatever you want uh, for this demo. That's how we're uh, that's, that's how we're pulling this data. Underneath that, we do have the finance department announcements. So because I'm part of the finance department. I get their announcements. If I'm part of marketing, if I'm part of sales, I will have a different view here. So what we've seen right now is presenting information to the user that um, from, a, from an organizational level we want to give them. So we want them to see what's going on with the calendar. We want them to know what's going on with our leadership, corporate announcements. Um, you know, if we've got a new HR policy, if, if, if there's anything that they need to happen, we are hitting them as soon as they get in, in for their day. And why would they come to this? Well, there's lots of reasons to come to SharePoint, but specifically with this homepage, we're making it so it's very easy for them to start their day from here. On the right-hand side, depending on their job role, uh, we're using target audiencing. This example, I've got four links here that uh, we've deemed are important for a manager in finance. Underneath that, we have my links. I can choose uh, as an individual, what links I want to add there. I've added ESPN, but you're probably going to be looking for your employees to add, you know, Google or Bing, um, those search engines, and any any other uh, websites that they use on a daily basis to perform their job. Underneath that, we've got all the applications that they use. Um, so based off of their role, these are the applications that we've that we're uh, presenting out to them. And as you can see, I've got uh, four applications that are presented out in my role. And as we scroll down, we've got um, my documents. So many of us that are listening right now have what I refer to as a shared drive. Uh, this is the old way of, of managing content. Um, and 
everyone has a folder on this. There may or may not be security around those folders. And this is where you save everything um, if you're not saving it on, on your desktop. Uh, permissions are really hard to manage there. Um, there's a lot of exceptions to the rules. Uh, there's not any ability to do versioning, um, compliance, and, and in fact, most studies will show that 40% of the data on those shared drives are redundant data, um, which does not do you in the IT field any favors whenever you're trying to, uh, to manage the storage of that. So utilizing SharePoint, I am pulling up, and we're actually using a tr more traditional view um, that would be a you know a share drive type of view. And here, David Alexander, that's me. I've got access to my folder, but then I'm a manager, so I do have access to my team. Um, so I've got a Meet and Brad and Grace and Leonard and Roy and Steven, so I can get into their folders off of uh, permissions through uh, Active Directory as well as SharePoint permissions. And then I also do have the finance department's uh, uh, f folder as well. So that's a spot that I can, I can, uh, we all can collaborate and share on folders. But let's just go ahead and from here, I actually can get into my, into my uh, documents and I can open up a folder. I never left my homepage. So we're presenting the data from the homepage. Uh, that doesn't really count as a click. Uh, because we never left the home page, um, we usually abide by a three-click rule. This does not count as a click because we're just di we're just diving in from the home page. Uh, we have not one any, any layers down. So this is a great way of one replacing your shared drive, two getting all the added benefits of enterprise content management, uh, which I, which there are other videos that I have that will review that. And uh, and making it very easy for your users to make that change to SharePoint, and uh, and hopefully reduce your storage, and uh, and be able to email links instead of uh, blasting out that PowerPoint to everyone. The last portion of this demo here is the uh, the my documents uh, within the department. So these are the documents within the within the finance department that it's being presented up to me. I can go into the finance department and see all these documents, but I'm presenting them up in the home page. Uh, you know, some of you may be saying, hey, this is a lot of information for a home page, and you might be right. Uh, but in this demo, we just want to show a lot of the functionality and how you can bring information to your users. And I don't know how many of you guys have a uh, have either a Bing account or a Gmail or, or a Google account. Almost every user already has a website where they have all these web parts. They've got their weather. They've got all this information. Um, they, you know, horoscope, weather, sports. They're using something similar already. Um, we're just trying to move that f from more of a personal use into a corporate use, and this is a great way of doing it. So, here's what we got. This is my, uh, you know. I am the manager of finance. Here's what my, my page looks like. I have uh, seven tabs across the top. I've got a lot of access. So let's just go over here and look quickly if I'm an informational worker. So I'm just a worker that's in the accounting department. So what do I see? Well, first of all, I'm down to five tabs. SharePoint, you live in the world that you know. Uh, this worker will never know if there's seven tabs. Uh, this worker will only see five tabs and all the colleagues around him will pro or him or her will probably see uh, five tabs because they're at the same level of the organization. They have the corporate calendar, but they don't have the management calendar. They also don't have the, uh, the demo web part that I had in my other site. We still want them to have the leadership message. We still want them to have corporate announcements. This is the accounting department, so we're presenting that announcements instead of the finance department, like what I was seeing on my first site. And in the corporate links, we're down to three links instead of four. And my links, this this person did uh, choose the AOS official home homepage uh, instead of uh, instead of ESPN, which is probably a good move. Instead of four applications, uh, this individual gets access to two uh, in order to do their daily job. They've got their my documents very easily. They can they can uh, access this. They also can add documents on the fly. And then we're presenting out from the uh, accounting department what's important to them. So this is a very, you know, forward looking, how do we present data and information to our end users as soon as they log in? And, and, and what studies have shown is that whenever a user logs in, they look across, they look down, they look up, 
look over, then look down. Let's be honest, the first place this user is probably going to be going to is my apps or my documents. What you've done with this layout is that you force this user uh, unconsciously to look at the corporate calendar and also the announcements. And uh, if your marketing department is doing a great job, they'll have great headlines that will pull that user in and, uh, and be able to make it so that you're getting more clicks and, uh, and you can measure a higher success rate on, uh, on the information you're putting out. Uh, to your users. So thank you for taking a few moments to watch this demo. My name is David Alexander with AOS Portal Practice. Ho hopefully this was uh, educational and uh, please feel free to reach out to me at david.alexander at aos5.com if you have any questions. Uh, I'd be happy to have a conversation with you. Have a great day.